Welcome to Tech Brothers with Amir. Today we are going to learn how to implement interactive sorting in SSRS report. So let's go ahead and create the report and implement it. So now let me show you SSMS SQL Survey Management Studio and I'm having a select query that's uh, selecting different fields from a total sale table. So let's take this query and go to the SSDT SQL Server Data Tools where we will create our report. I already have created the SSRS project. Click on the reports tab, add new item. Now click on report item and provide the name. So I'm going to call this one interactive sorting. Add. Now on the data sources tab, right click and add data source. So let's provide some reasonable name. Let's call this one DS sales. Use shared data source as a reference. I already have created a shared data source. If you are creating multiple reports from same database, it is a good idea to create a shared data source. So when you deploy your reports or data sources, you don't have to make changes in a whole lot of places. So hit OK. And here in the data set, right click and add data set. So give the name DS, D set sales. And this is going to be embedded in my report. Select the data source and provide the query. This can be a store procedure. In my case, it is a simple select query. So go to design surface, right click, in, uh, insert, and then go to the table. Let's move this one on the left side, make some more space. And now bring some columns. Let's say we bring first name, last name, and a product name. And finally, we'll bring uh, some items sold. And let's uh, make uh, this header bold and give some background color. Now our report is ready. What I want to do, I want to implement interactive sort uh, so the people uh, or users, uh, they can s sort these columns uh, whenever they want in. So they can sort by first name, last name or product name. So let me go ahead. Uh, and implement interactive sort. So what you need to do, you click on this header and once it is highlighted, you right click and go to the text box properties. One of the tab here you will see is called interactive sorting. Click on that one and then enable interactive sort on this text box. There are two options we have here, detail rows and group. As you can see that I do not have any group as of now. So it is a detail row. That's fine. And then we have to select the column on which we will be implementing the interactive sorting. Now in this case, it is going to be sale person first name. So hit OK. Let's preview the report. And now you see these uh, up arrow and down arrows. So if I click on this one, you can see it is sorting, ascending or descending. So this is called interactive sorting. Now the same way I can go ahead and implement the interactive sorting on these other columns as well. So let's go to design, click on the header, right click, text box properties, interactive sorting and again enable interactive sorting on this text box. It is detail row and then it is the sale person last name hit ok the same thing we have to do on the product name interactive sorting enable it and select the product name and hit ok now we have implemented interactive sorting on these three columns we can sort by using these arrows according to the any column what we want let's sort them by product name so if you see that now I have uh, sorted them ascending uh, in this case here and if I would like to sort them descending uh, it's re-click and uh, you will see the arrow is pointing uh, down now. So this is how you will implement uh, sorting on detail uh, level. Let's go to the design uh, and now create uh, a group uh, in this uh, report. Uh, so I'm gonna use uh, the region here. So bring the region uh, right here uh, in the row group. Uh, now a group uh, is created. Uh, Let's preview the report and uh, you can see that the region group is uh, created. We have Asia, Europe and North America. I would like to add uh, uh, interactive sorting on a group level. 
So let's go to design back and then click uh, on the same uh, uh, co column header right here for the group. Uh, right click text box properties and then go to interactive sorting. Click uh, enable interactive sorting on this uh, text box and then instead of detail rows now we know that it is group click on the groups once you click on the groups you will be seen the region and details we are implementing on the region group so select the region and once you select it it select the column as well so hit ok now preview the report the interactive sorting is enabled on group as well as on details fields in our case now so let's uh, sort the region first. So if I click here, you can see it is a descending. Uh, it is ordered or sorted descendingly. And if I will click back, uh, it will be ordered ascendingly. So now we have uh, Asia, Europe and North America. So we can play with the group. And then uh, once we are done with the group, then we can further go in the details and sort the records. So in North America we have Amir, M, Raza, Christy and John. If we would like to just sort the first name from here and we don't want to touch the region group, that's, that's possible. So now we can order or sort the detail parts. So let's go back and see we can order them or sort them. And we have option the group is not changing. So the group is static as of now and then we can sort these detail columns. If we would like to sort the region again we can click back and it will sort the region. So and the region is our group. So this is how you will implement the interactive sorting on the groups and detail columns. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you in next video.